Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today. I bring you guys episode number 12 of Best Free Fonts for Designers, where basically every three or so months I kind of go over some new fonts and just kind of like new pickups, new releases, and basically things that I personally picked up very recently and I really enjoyed and I want to showcase to you guys. So with that being said, a short and sweet little intro here, but on the top right over here in the little panel section, uh, I'll put in like this little playlist for you guys to actually download all the previous episodes as well. Um, but yeah, in the description down below will be all the links to all the actual fonts in the video here today, especially on the little bottom port uh, portion I'm gonna say like font bundle or something like that. Um, like you know, download all fonts. We're basically just gonna give you guys a nice little Google Drive to just download them all at one shot. If you guys wanna look at the playlist or pl look at the project, all that good stuff. But yeah, enjoy today's video here today. That's all I got. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Enjoy. All right, first font, homies, is Fungus. This font took inspiration from my favorite types of typefaces, being the grotesque font styles. Who wrote that? Was a mouthful. It has three weights, glyphs, all free for personal and commercial use. A super dope font with awesome ink traps and characters just to help it stand out from the usual sans serifs. For me, it has easy use cases as a display font or for logos, just an all around great font to add into your font collection. And personally, an easy download for me. Next font is Maya Glyphs. You guys love the Japanese inspired character symbols font from the last episode, that font being the GK Type 01 font glyphs or whatever you call it. This time, I have a super dope glyph that holds more of an ancient vibe to it. Granted, the name Maya Glyphs, for the record. You can easily use these types of fonts to fill some space in design, or even use them as a texture for a background. With fonts like these, in specific this one right here, all you guys have to do is write out numbers 1 through 16, and you guys get a different symbol each time. Really, it's just a super dope and quick, useful way just to add some really cool character to a design. And for me, that's enough for a download. Up next, guys, is a font known as Avon. It's a super clean sans serif font, five different weights, free for personal and commercial use. I don't know, I can just never get enough sans serif typefaces. For me, it's just like each one holds like a different attitude or just change, or just like has the perfect amount of boldness to just help kind of like complete your design, right? So if you're just looking for some more clean display fonts, I think this is an easy download for you guys. Granted as well, if you guys are ever typeface users, to get your font used a lot, just start it with an A by the way, right? Like if you just think about it in a list, it's easy to find, it just starts with an A, it's just, I'm just pointing that out there, a little, little tip there. Now up next we have my personal favorite thumbnail font to use at the moment, that's known as Jelly. It's definitely a bit on the older side of the release dates, but for me it's new, so hopefully it's also new to you, and it just works out. With its rounded and soft appearance, it can easily be adapted to the world of YouTube thumbnails or just an overall more bubbly needed feeling. It's a really well polished display font, so if you're looking for some new thumbnail fonts, this is definitely one to go for. Next up is something a little more uncharacteristic in my font series, however, a look for sure, and that's known as Circle Fancy. It is a really fancy look and font given the, the title it makes sense. You might at first wonder where this font can kind of fit in your style. However, something that stood out to me in the project is the idea of using it as a way to texturize a really cool luxury background. Basically having written out a word or a phrase and just kind of having that be the pattern duplicated over and over and over. Additionally, the glyphs in this font is also really clean. I can see myself using them for like type texture and projects like apparel or even posters. Honestly, do not knock it based on the initial reaction. You might need it when that descriptive word expensive or luxury pops up in your emails. Now, here comes a very quick fun one, and that's Mago Sans. A more fun and blocky typeface that for me works very well in big titles, and even another additional font to use for thumbnails. Personally, I just think it's a little bit too fun not to download and also use the next time you want to completely eliminate white space from your project. So if for whatever reason that sounds like what you need, that's this is this is one of them. Alright, homies, now for the last one for the video, it is known as Peck Him Press. It's an amazing display font that holds a dope street vibe alongside with grit and grunge. If you guys follow my socials, you will 100% be seeing this font in use just because it solves so many things for me. When it comes to like filling space, the perfect amount of grunge scan, and just the character overall it exudes, if you're looking for that brush font to help explore those urban style ideas, this is definitely it. Alright guys, that is the end of the video here today, so hopefully you guys end up enjoying today's video, have some really cool fonts for you guys to pick up and download and explore and all that good stuff, so uh, of course if you did like the video, please leave a like on the video, and that's, that's pretty much all I got, so HQ out, if you're navigating, keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive guys, I love you very much, enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your next week, all that good stuff, and for the record, I have some dope, dope, dope videos coming very, very soon, they're taking a long time to like ideate and get to point A to point B, but I'll figure it out. And uh, when I do, you guys are gonna enjoy it. I promise. I'll see you guys soon. And that's all I got. Later.